Let's go to our first caller of the day. It's Thelma on line one. Hello, Thelma. Good morning, sir. How are you doing? Uh, pretty good, I guess. Okay. Devastated, but pretty good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm uh, feeling concerned about the issue about Westport. Okay. I'm one of the parents of a child that's in school. Mm-hmm. You were talking to my daughter previously on a show. Okay. Um, actually, I take pity on this little guy. Mm-hmm. Uh, yes, he's been bullying my child. My child right now is in therapy for anger management. He's on treatment because of it. But the fact is, everybody is blindsided to see that this child was reared in foster home before the colliers took him. He needs help. And nobody's looking at the fact that this child needs help. Well, I and think I, I think they are, insane. though. I, I, I think that's that's where this is going, is try to sort out what is going on here and who needs help. And it's perhaps not just him. That's that's true. It's true, yep. yes. Yep. I mean, I'm not saying my child did not do a racist remark to him, but kids are kids. And when you're pushed to the point to rebel, kids are going to say things they shouldn't say. And parents, yes, say, people say they should be ill responsible. I'm sorry, my child's going to be 15. I'm not going out and holding my child's hand to see what he's doing and saying in public. If somebody hears him or sees him do something wrong, I appreciate they come to me. Mm-hmm. I'm, you know, I'm very disappointed in the way this is heading because to me, instead of getting together as a community and helping each other and straighten this issue out, it publicized and went through media and devastated our town and caused us racist. I'm sorry, I'm in a family of black, Lebanese, Chinese. I got all creeds in my family. Mm-hmm. I'm not originally from here. And I will not close my doors or lock anybody out. Everybody's welcome. But getting to the following point, my son has suffered just as much as Torrance has suffered. He's seeking counseling. He's on medication for anger management. Mm-hmm. He's turning 15. And you're telling me this is normal? I'm sorry, it's not. No, it sounds like it got out of hand well before it hit social media. And, of course, social media is a, a, a very difficult thing. It, it, it is a dangerous thing, and uh, it can take things into an area that uh, is not helpful whatsoever. But um, it sounds like something was brewing here for some time and perhaps could have been uh, headed off uh, in a variety of ways. And no efforts were made, and people are full of praise for the school and, and what they've tried to do over time. But uh, and unfortunately, it's here now, and we have to try to uh, uh, do the right thing under very trying circumstances with all of the attention, of course, and the focus on the community. Uh, we, you know, this is how we learn. Uh, we make mistakes, uh, preferably early in life, uh, you know, when we have lots of time left to, uh, to benefit from the, uh, from the lessons we learn. And uh, you're right. Kids will be kids. They make mistakes. That's what you're supposed to do as you're growing up, and you, you figure it out. Uh, but when real harm is done like this, it is uh, often difficult to get past it and to, to uh, mitigate the damage, you know. Uh, the damage can be permanent in some cases, and uh, it, yeah. it's important yeah. that we do everything we can now with the expertise we have to uh, help people see it, you know, uh, objectively and step back from it and take some time to put it into perspective and uh, figure out how to carry on. Yes. Well, that's like I said, I mean, it's not only him that's being being damaged. My son has been dealing with this ever since this child's been here. He's inappropriately said things that should not have been said to my son. And my, I mean, my son's going in 15. Seriously, should he be dealing with a 10-year-old harassing him? And then cops coming to my door, pinning my child, saying to back off, walk away? He knows he's not allowed to touch this child. He knows he's not allowed to say anything back to this child. But please, somebody out there, look at both sides of the story. Like, this child is not innocent as people are putting him to be. Do you feel confident now that the authorities who are involved in uh, a variety, variety of ways now will, you know, take the time and uh, with their training and expertise uh, recognize all aspects of the situation and give the help, uh, you know, that's needed uh, where necessary? In some cases, I think it would be, but I still have doubts. 
Yeah. I, I really do still have a lot of doubt. Um, it, it's destroyed the town. The kids itself are devastated. Mm-hmm. And for it to come at, at this time of year, when they're on their final exams, uh, my child is having it hard enough in school as it is, and he's coming home stressed every day. Mm-hmm. Don't know how to deal with this issue. So to me, instead of people judging us, come talk to us and try to help us to help our kids in some way to deal with this. And on top of that, he's not the only black child in town. I got two grandkids. Four of them are white. But my best friend's got a black child. And I love him just as much as I love my grandkids. Mm-hmm. So, call me racist. Like, to me, the bullying is bullying that happens everywhere. But to put a town down to be racist when they're not? Yeah, I don't know if that's... I guess that's how it feels, no doubt about it. I'm not sure if that's completely accurate. I mean, the people I've talked to uh, take a little bit more calm and mature response to it. And they say, you know, there are things going on there that no doubt need to be sorted out. But uh, I think we all get how, uh, you know, elevated the... Uh, the pressure is and how exaggerated perhaps sometimes uh, the interpretations can be um, I, I think perhaps it's not the, not as uh, and I know it's overwhelming there's no question for people in town and feeling it but I wonder if that's really a reflection of the truth when it comes to the opinions of most people I think it is okay but to me uh, it shouldn't have went this far mm-hmm. if our child's coming on with issues uh, by all means, if my son has done wrong to her child, please phone me, and I will deal with the issue. And you can ask anybody in town. I do deal with the issue at hand. Can you can you appreciate though how the parent would have felt finding what she did on his uh, technology there? The uh, my child done videos? the same thing, Is but I didn't publicize it. Right. Okay. My child has physically damaged things in my house mm-hmm. because he didn't know how to deal with it. My child is physically set in a corner at 14. He'll be 15 this birthday and cried because of things that was said and done to him. So, <sighs> it's like, people need to see it. two sides of the story. And, I mean, I'm just as hurt and devastated, and so is my child, mm-hmm. as what the collier says. But because my child is of white and they're using the black card out there, for their defense, I'm sorry. I feel sorry for this child, and I love this child as a member of the community, same as any other child. But don't put our kids down and point fingers at our kids till you know what our kids have had to deal with. Well, I think the acknowledgement of uh, racial slurs is a fair one, though. I mean, it's never pleasant, and we don't want to uh, to hear it. But if if that's part of this whole dilemma here, that's one thing that has to be acknowledged and addressed, don't you think? Yes. To understand what racism means, it doesn't only mean color. Racist remarks can come in any way, shape, or form. But being told you're ugly and fat is also a racist remark. Being told that you're a dumb newfie is a racist remark. So racism is everywhere and said by everyone. All right. Well, I thank you for your call this morning, Thelma. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Mm, Bye-bye. Bye-bye. It's a tough, tangly situation, folks. No question about it. There are many uh, angles and perspectives.